These two teams are expecting to score a lot today. The Steel currently lead the North American Hockey League in goal differential. And on the other end, the Generals have played two more games than the Steel have this season. Puck is down. Let's play some hockey. We are underway. And the faceoff is won by the Generals and fired. And outside the zone, the Generals punch it right back in. Stopped at their own blue line. It's Sandra with a stretch pass through. Here's J.J. Granham moving his way in. He shoots one in the save put on and a penalty drawn. Granda got a pass from Sandriel in the neutral. Chuck tries to drive across ice. Here's a chance for the steal. Sam Rice moving in. Sam Rice slides it across. Besson shoots and a save made by DeYoung. A 2 on 0 gets snuffed out by DeYoung shorthanded. It doesn't get much easier than that for the steal, but DeYoung was able to read that pass the entire way. Let's take another look at this replay. And just that 2 on 0 chance. Sam Rice has a good release, scored a couple of goals in the preseason early going. Remick hard on the fort check to steal it back for Chippewa. Thrown out in front for Brill, one-timer for Humble! And a save made by DeYoung. Band to go to 10 or more. This is one of the hockey meccas of the world. And games just around the clock here at the North American Hockey League Showcase. Long stretch pass, finds the stick of Mignon, shoots and he scores! Paul Mignon able to beat Adam Guyon for the first goal of the game. And the Generals capitalize on a beautiful stretch pass to take a 1-0 lead. That's the second goal of the season for Mignon, one of the captains on the team. And that Wilson was eight. with a pass into the slot. And it's taken away by the Generals. Kalorn at the red line, up the right wing. Here is Nielsen, a huge hit laid on. Slow to his skates is Matthew Brill. 14 he... seconds to go in this period. One last chance here for Chippewa. Ganas from his own end. Turns over the puck and a chance for Anachuk out front. Huge save from Adam Guyon. Remember that one. In this... their own end on the back can. And they're doing well to break out of their zone. McCarthy intercepts the puck. Here's Sylvester moving his way in. Finds it in the slot. They score! Cody Kemp off the interception from Sylvester, and the steal, tie the game. McCarthy with a silly turnover, Sylvester read it well, fed it to the slot, and the one-time blast from Cody Kempf ties the game for the steal, 1-1. One, one. That's Kempf's second goal of the showcase. Both times in this period as well, so both teams really playing even offensively. Here's Sasaki, hasn't had the puck on his stick all that much. Lago with the shot, he scores! How'd that one go in? Sasaki fed it over to Lago at the point. It was a slow roller towards the net. I think it completely fooled DeYoung and it found its way in. Take another look at this replay. It just trickled by the left pad of DeYoung and the steal lead two to one. I think that they'll Still take it however. Here's Joe Kelly, goes cross ice. Finds the stick of Ramsey. Ramsey down low, throws it across ice again. Kelly shoots and scores! Joe Kelly, red hot, putting on a show at the showcase. Capitalizes on the power play, it's 3-1 steal. Joe Kelly with the cross ice feed, put right on his plate, like served dinner. And he makes action no yet in the regular season, but he's also been a really steady goalie. Now here come the steal back the other way. Matthew Brill, top of the circle, has time and space, shoots Brill, batting out of midair, they score! Like a baseball bat, it's Kane Nielsen! His third goal of the showcase. My goodness, beautiful hand-eye coordination, and the steal lead four to one. Brill's chance gets knocked out of midair by Nielsen, and the Steel have opened up the floodgates. Four to one. At the dasher, the generals collect, but Ganas is hard on the fort check here for the Steel. Thrown out in front, here's Sam Rice, time and space, gets across ice, shooting one. A rebound chance, opportunity. DeYoung pins it to his right pad and covers in the blue paint. The line along with Rice. All the way towards the blue line, playing catch just 13 seconds to go on this five on three. He's stashed in deep for Nielsen. One timer by Royce. Rebound is there. DeYoung covers. With 8.35 like to go in this third period. Four to one steal. Nielsen looks to find Brill. Got it on his stick. Brill moves in. He scores. 
Matthew Brill, five to one steal. Nielsen had it, far side, right at the blue line. It was a beautiful tape to tape feed. We'll take another look at it. Brill goes glove side high and able to stash it home for the five to one lead. Nurse back to the point, here's Cooper, thinks about a shot. Zinda poke checks it, nearly has an on-man rush back the other way, now they do. Here's Zinda on a two on one, Zinda waits for it, sliding chance, and that'll do it for the game. The steal, five to one winners. They trailed in the first period and after one, second period scored four in a row, third period tacked on some insurance from Matthew Brill, and the steal. Win five to one in a huge victory against the Northeast Generals.